Good day class. Welcome to our first Gen Math class. And our topic for today is about functions and relations. Okay, let's start. So at the end of the lesson, you will be able to define what is a relation and what is a function. And you will be able to identify which relations are functions and which relations are not functions. Okay? So, the first one is we will define what is a relation. So, when we talk of relation, it's just a set of values which contains a domain and which contains a range. Those domain are the first set which is the x values and the range are the second set which are the y values. Okay? So, next. We have four types of relation. So, the first one is what we call one-to-one -one correspondence. So, in this type of relation, as you notice here, we have the we have the x values and the y values, the domain and the range. As you notice here, class, that we have one value of x corresponds to one value of y. So. In this case, this type of relation is what we call function. Okay? The next type of function is what we call the many-to-one correspondence. In this case class, as you notice, we have many values of x, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the, the repeated value of y, which is 4. Okay? In this case class, as you notice, there are no domain that is being repeated. Okay, only y value in this case, we will consider this as function. And the third one is what we call the one-to-many correspondence. It's just the opposite of our number two type of relation. In this case, the values of x are the ones that are being repeated. Okay, and the values of y are not repeated. In this case, we will consider this class as not function. Okay? So, number four, we have the fourth type of relation. In this case, we have many-to-many -many correspondence. As you notice, there are values of x that are being repeated, and at the same time, there are values of y that is or are being repeated. Okay? In this case, this is considered as not a function. So, what is a function? A function now is defined as... This one. It is a relation wherein there is no domain that should be repeated. Meaning, bawal na maulit ang domain. Okay? That is in Tagalog. Okay? So, you can just read your module on the other definition of function. Okay? Next, we have also the process of identifying a given uh, if the given is a function or not and we can have this one as our given what if the given is ordered pairs mapping diagram graph and equation how will you identify if those are function or not function okay let us discuss first one and two so one and two ordered pairs and mapping diagram you can say that an ordered pairs and mapping diagram is a function or not function Okay, they are function if and only if the domain are not being repeated. By what? You can just inspect it. So, what's the process? By inspection. Okay, so by inspection, you can just see if the domain is repeated or not. If it is not repeated, meaning walang na ulit, then that's a function. Okay. We can also tackle in the next lesson about the graph and equation. Sorry for the numbering. Next. Okay. Let us take this example. So, for example, our x values or our domain are for students. It's not value for students. And their y values are their grades in algebra. For example, we have the students named Paul, Joey, Liam, and Tom. And their grades are 80, 78, 95, and 85. If we will rewrite that one in ordered pairs, we have Paul, 80, Joby, 78, Liam, 95, Tom is 85. 
As you notice here in class, there is no student, single student, that contains or that has two grades in algebra. At di rin yung pwede. Tama po ba? Okay? So, walang, walang sang sudyante din sa inyo, class, if ever, na bibigyan ko ng dalawang grades. So, that is in reality. So, therefore, this is an example of a function. Okay, because there are no domains that are being repeated. How did you know? You inspect the domain. Okay, next, we have this one. Okay, which of the following or repairs is or are function? So, number one, so what are you going to do? Inspect. What, are you what do you inspect? The domain only. Okay, so for example, we have here the domain x value is 1, this is 2, 3, and 4. So, since there are no domain that's being repeated, then number 1 is a function. Number 2, we have 1 and 1. In this case, automatically, you have noticed, you have inspected that the domain of ordered pair 1 and ordered pair 2 is the same one. So, therefore, we will say that number 2 is not a function. And number 3, we have 1, 2, 3 and so on up to n time so in here as you notice 1 2 3 and n are the given still the domain are not repeated or there is no domain that is being repeated so to answer this question which of the following ordered pairs is or are function our answer would be f and h function f and function h next what if we have this one okay we have which of the following or repairs are or is a function. So first we have 3, 2, 4, and 5. So function 7, 8, 2, and 2. So 2 are 2 num two number is being repeated. So this is not a function. Then we have 1, 2, 3, and 5. No domain that are being repeated. So then this is a function. So to have this one. So, our answer, which, which of these relations are functions, we have A and C. And the next one, we have, what if we are given a mapping diagram? A mapping diagram looks like this, okay? So, it's just a diagram. So, which of the mapping diagram represent a function? So, in spec, so you have 1, 3, 2, 9, 3, 17, 4, 5, and 5, 33. So, is this a function? Yes, why? Because, as you notice, there is no domain that is being repeated. What about this? 5, 1, 5, okay? So, the arrows are not being repeated, the domain are not being repeated. And what about this one? Automatically, it's obviously that 7 is being repeated. Why 7, 11, 7, 12, and also with 2, 2 13, and 2, 14. So, to answer this question, our answer, which of the following represents a function we have this one f and g okay so we will have our next discussion on the next video thank you for watching